folks. It's a beautiful January day. Temperatures in the high 40s. Gonna hit over 50 today. The sun's shining and it's a great day to get out and take a ride in the country. As we're driving along, we saw this beautiful fence sitting here and we have a wetland area. And lo and behold, we saw this plant behind us, which is called the teasel. Now, florists love teasel. But one thing about teasel, if you're gonna touch a stem, recommend you have a good glove on. This plant right here is used in dried flower arrangements. It's sold in craft stores. People just love it and very decorative. And the birds just love the seeds. One plant can provide 2,000 seeds. And the American goldfinch just loves them. Now, one thing that's interesting about this plant is that in the spring and summer, as it's growing, the plant with its leaves forms a cup around the stem. And as it rains, that rainwater gets captured by the leaves and it doesn't drain out. And some people call this the tears of Venus. Now, Venus was the goddess of beauty. And they believe that if you take that water and you put it on your complexion, it will make your complexion better. And they also believe if you use that water and put it on warts, now you have to do it a number of times, like every day for three weeks or so, but it will get rid of warts. And that's what they believed. And so this plant, in addition to helping you with your complexion and with your warts, they make a blue or a yellow dye from it. Now Charles Darwin, some of you may know who Charles Darwin is. Well, he had a son, his name was Francis. And Francis wanted to follow in his dad's footsteps and he studied this plant. And he said that where that water connects and collects where the leaves are at, that that water trapped insects, especially ants. Ants would try crawling up this stem to get at the flower at the top and to get the nectar. But the plant collected the rainwater and would not let the ant continue up the stem. Darwin, in his paper he wrote, contends that this plant actually consumed those little ants that got caught in the water of the teasel plant. Folks, a beautiful time of year to get out and to enjoy the wonders of nature. The native people believed that every part of the earth was sacred to their people, that everything was put here by the Creator, by God Almighty, for man. Whether for food, for medicine, for decorations, for floors to make money, for dye, or to tease wool. These plants were put here for man. And in my videos, I like to share with you the rest of the story about the common sights that we see as we're driving along and walking in the forests and fields, just like this beautiful teasel plant. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. This way, every time I come up with a new video, you'll be notified and you'll be one of the first ones to be able to see it. Have a great day.